Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are feeling good. Hope you guys are bust like a newborn baby. My name is Bukome Bike Crown. So guys, I'm here with another one. The title of this video is Living in Norway versus Living in the US. So this guy has been to the two countries. So he wants to tell us his experience and what it is like to live in the USA and to live in Norway. So let's check it out, guys. I think just overall, they're very just environmentally aware. So you have a lot of people that actually you know use the bus you take the trains their train systems actually you know very very well developed um, and so yeah it, whereas in the United States you know you get on a bus and there's maybe like two other people on there with you whereas in Norway you get on and most of the, throughout most of the day it's packed mm. um, as far as work goes um, they're morning people I don't know how they do it but mm. compared to the US where most jobs are nine to five they go from eight to like three and they usually only work seven hour work days too like i said you know they value more of their free time and you know spending time with their kids and with their mm. families so uh, they take they take less money for just you know more time off well, crime in norway it's almost non-existent it's mm. ridiculous how safe you feel pretty much everywhere you can walk anywhere in norway like i've heard of most you know, different missions where they have, okay, you know, we don't go this place in the area. Like, you know, you want to stay away from this area at this time of night or whatever. Norway, like, I'd go and I'd check the area books and we had absolutely nothing about that. Because pretty much everywhere is safe almost all the time. As far as housing goes, um, it's a, most people live in a lot smaller houses than, I don't know, their economic situations would say they, they can. I don't know, it's something with the way they value things, like they just don't need as much space as you know we like to have mm. in America. Mm. So they get along a lot better just in smaller areas. They like to be more so, you know, just humble about their housing, I guess you could say. Like, you know, say, I, I don't need this much land, like we can live on a lot smaller, like, you know, more people can live next to us if we, you know, don't take up so much space, and so they don't. Um, and, you know, I thought that was actually kind of cool that they were a little bit more, you know, conservative in that way. They thought, you know, we'll just, we'll use less resources, we can get by on less, so, you know, more people can have more. And it's something that's really helped their, you know, country out a lot. There, there's a lot less poverty in Norway, just in general, too. Mm. Um, the government takes care of everyone really well. Um, as far as what you have people doing for work, um, you have a lot of just, I'd say a lot more common jobs. Like, you have a lot more people, you know, just working in construction, working, you know, fixing telephone wires or doing just a lot of, I'd say just, you know, manual labor as compared to the U.S. where it seems like everyone's working an office job. Um. You have a lot less people, I'd say, working office jobs than you do in the United States. But that's the thing, they get paid a lot more in Norway, too, for doing manual labor and for doing everything else. Like, for instance, one of my friends from my last areas is coming over, you know, to spend a, about a month vacation in the U.S. and he's working as a grocery store clerk. And he's mm. making a ton of money doing that. Wow. And, you know, he can afford to come to the United States for a month just off of his grocery store clerk salary. Wow. You know, all my friends laugh at that. You know, we thought, well, let's just go work in Norway for the rest of our lives. It's great. Wow. I'd say the minimum wage is, you know, about maybe $25 an hour or something like that. Mm. It's really good. Wow. So, yeah, they just make sure everyone's paid really well over there. As long as they're working, you know, it's doing, then they're going to get paid well. Um, I think the idea behind that is they don't want you on welfare. So, you know, if you're mm. on welfare, you're doing pretty well. As well, it's just if you have a job, then you're going to be doing better. Yeah, so, nice. uh, they have a nice system over there just to try to help people to find jobs as well. Um, you usually have a very large government building kind of in the downtown areas of each town that's dedicated to, you know, helping people find jobs. So there's one thing in general in Norway that's a little bit different than most places. Um, Norway is becoming much more of a melting pot of just different cultures than it has been, you know, traditionally, and a lot more than most European countries are now. Because a lot of people will, you know, if they have problems in their own country, they'll flee to Norway. Mm. So we talk to a lot of people from, you know, different countries in Africa, different places in the Middle East, a lot of people even too in the Eastern Bloc of Europe um, would just come to Norway because, you know, things are better or, you know, a different conflict broke out and they had to leave their country for some reason. So we'd end up talking to a lot of people from, you know, different countries mm. in Africa and everything. I remember we got invited to play soccer just once. Wow, amazing. You know when there's less crime rates in a country, 
that will guarantee some safety for you i'm sure nowhere will be a safe place for you to be i'm sure the security will be you know tight compared to usa usa hmm, the crime rate is crazy like and another thing that he spoke about that i really love this fact that he said that nowhere people they are humble people they live simple even their houses are so you know so portable so small they are not after this material stuff they are just being themselves they are cool with anything the houses are really you know small and cute and he spoke about you know in a way most people don't involve in office jobs they involve in marriage jobs you know why in usa you, they involve more in office job and those people that don't involve in office job in norway they are paid higher than those people that are involved in office job in usa and their pay is quite good so what i can say so far about norway is that i think they are humble people they live simple their simplicity is top notch and you know i think the security there will be also great compared to usa so let's keep watching guys to play soccer just one p day with one of our investigators who was from, it was uh, Rwanda. And we were just playing soccer with a bunch of these other people, you know, who were refugees in Norway. And there were like five different languages going off and, you know, all sorts of different, you know, you know, try this, try this. And I don't know, me and my companion just spoke English and Norwegian. We couldn't understand like the Italian, mm -hmm. the different like Somali. I, yeah, there were a couple guys from Somalia that were there. And you know, it was just a very just overall cultural experience. You get to experience a ton of different cultures in Norway. For the most part, too, I taught a lot of people from the Middle East, and you know, that's a very interesting culture to wow. get into as well. Um, I gained a lot of respect for them, and a lot of, you know, I just feel a lot more cultured after talking to them, and I understand them a lot better. You know, I have a lot more love for the people over there, too, as well. I'd say one of the main differences, too, is, and you'll notice this throughout a lot of the European school systems, is they specialize a lot sooner. You get to specialize in high school, whether you want it. I remember there's, like, a sports line. Mm for you know people who are either end up doing a lot of manual labor or just going to professional athletics um there's just kind of the general line if you keep going with you know math sciences english and everything else and then there's a couple other different lines like i remember there's this it's the same kid who you know we talked a lot about you know just he wanted to be mormon because of the lifestyle he was studying to become a carpenter in high school and had already made a ton of money you know just working internships and everything else becoming a carpenter so that's one interesting thing. And like I said, you see that all over the place in Europe is they specialize just right off the bat in high school. Oh, the summer in Norway is probably the most amazing thing ever. Mostly because you get the exact opposite of what you do in the winter, except it's really just, you know, very nice warm conditions. They get up to maybe like the mid eighties and that's a really hot day in Norway. Um, other than that, the sun's out all the time. And so, you know, just. You're walking around in the middle street, you look down at your watch and, oh snap, we need to be home like right now. It's 9 o'clock and the sun's still up in the sky and it's not going down for the next couple months. So, you know, it, it's crazy. Um, everyone over there really loves the summer. People are always out and, you know, they're always out doing something, you know, figuring something out. Um, it's just a very active time, I guess, in Norway. Oh, wow amazing the fact that the summer there in Norway is incredible you know especially when you're used to being a country where as the weather is always cold and you go to a country where as you know there's more of summer there you will love the place because you want to feel the you know the heat of the sun in your Buddy, and you want to enjoy the weather the weather is cool over there he spoke about the weather he spoke about um he spoke about their culture he said norway people they are more cultured that he love their culture their culture is so nice it's so lovely he spoke a lot like i really really enjoyed and so far so good what i would say is that after giving us the differences between living in norway and living in us i think Based on his own point, it seems living in Norway is much more preferable than living in USA because when you live in Norway, you don't need to live more than yourself. You just live, you no. Know, 
within your budget you know live a simple life you know their homes are i think their their homes and rents will be kind of cheap you know their culture their ways of life you no know, you don't need to write a lot of cvs to get job in norway you no know, easily you can get yourself a job and the crime rate there is very very low compared to us i think based on this point living in norway is much more preferable than living in usa and i really enjoyed watching guys i learned a lot from this video i hope you did thank you for sticking to this time you are my real 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 vips guys thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment my name is bukome bk i'll see you in the next one bye